Great. So now that we have our hardware set up, let's go ahead and take a look at the software to actually make this sensor uh, work the way that we want it to work. Um, so Energia.nu is where you can actually get the software tool that we'll be using. Uh, Energia is an open source, community driven uh, development environment for many of our Launchpad development kits. Um, and, and there's lots of resources available here. Um, as you can see, um, we're using the 5529 Launchpad. Um, and here on the, on the right side of the, of the website is a link to a very nifty pin diagram. Um, so lots of really helpful resources are available here, including this pin diagram that explains uh, what Energia APIs are available at every single pin. So in the case of our um, moisture detecting launch pad uh, project, we've got a moisture sensor hooked up to pin number 23. And remember that uh, we, can, we can actually see that our uh, moisture module is connected to pin 23 because of the silk screen that's on the Grove Base booster pack. Um, and pin number 23, as you can see here, is actually hooked up to uh, an analog input capable pin, A0. So pin 23, we're all set, we're in good shape, um, and that means, uh, as you can see with the color code, that I can actually use the analog read function call on that specific pin. Um, so, so far, so good. So, on the Energia website, you can download it here. I already have it downloaded and installed on my, on my machine. Uh, Energia works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, so it's a cross-platform, but in the case here, I'm running it on a, on a Windows machine. So uh, once you download uh, Energia, unzip it, and run the executable, uh, this is what the development environment looks like. Um, the first thing you'll have to do is go to Tools, Board, and select the launch pad. In this case, I'm using a 5529. Um, however, this project example that I'm running through will work on um, most of these launch pads as long as you have the Wi-Fi booster pack plugged on top. Um, so specifically, this will work uh, just as well on the uh, FR5969, uh, the TM4C123 launch pads, uh, etc. Um, this also works on the CC3200 launch pad, and in this case, you actually don't need the Wi-Fi booster pack because the CC3200 has Wi-Fi integrated into the same chip as the microcontroller. So it's a single chip microcontroller plus Wi-Fi solution. Uh, but in this case, I'm doing it with two chips. I've got the 430-5529 paired with the CC3100 uh, Wi-Fi booster pack. Uh, in addition to selecting the board, I also need to tell Energia where my serial port is connected to. Um, so I've already checked my device manager, um, and in this case I'm looking for something called MSP430 UART, or Application UART. Um, but depending on the launch pad, it might resolve as a different name in your device manager. Um, so just go ahead and double check, make sure which COM port it is, but typically it's the last one on the list. Um, so in my case, uh, COM port 251 is, is what I need to use here. Um, great. So now that... Um, Energia knows what board I'm using, and Energia knows which COM port to listen to, um, I can actually start interacting with my Grove module. So to do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and use one of the pre-packaged uh, pre examples that Energia comes with. So I can actually go to File, Examples, Basics, Analog Read Serial. And in this example, I'm going to basically read an analog input channel and print the sensor value onto the built-in serial monitor that Energia provides. Um, so here, all I have to do now is make one small modification, is that instead of reading analog channel A3, I want to read analog um, channel that's connected to pin number 23. And again, that's the same number that the Grove module is connected to, um, and we were able to verify that by looking on the silk screen of the Grove booster pack. Um, and just like that, I can go ahead and push this button here the code will compile, and I can click on Serial Monitor during compilation, and that will basically trigger the Serial Monitor that's built into Energia to open immediately after the code is compiled and flash to the launch pad. There we go. And here you can see the data is starting to stream in. So I've got the sensor here um, dipped, I guess, into this uh, bottle of water. So when I remove the sensor from the water, you can see that the sensor reading goes down to zero, uh, basically meaning that there's no presence of water. Um, if I dip it back into the moisture again, you can see that number starts to go back up again. Um, so perfect, analog read works.